Is my screen visible? Yes, yes, Anjali. Okay. So first, uh, let me create a bank in your test system. And you also see how bank is to be created. Like we need to select one dedicated GL account for that. Now, since it is in under current asset, it should be on the debit side. Balance sheet item, cash flow category not defined. XXX report section. We will take this under asset. And we will take on control account because we are going to to create this as a bank. Now our GL will be unit. So copy this. Now I have created a new GL account that we will be using for bank. Now let me go to. <laughs> Maintain account, bank account. We will create a new bank here. A bank code that too I have noted down from the production system. Um, that is AMSD9605. I am taking just one example. Now that the GL account which I had created just paste here. Copy the description code bank name. आलो है ना तीन मीटिंग है ना हाँ हाँ आलो आलो हाँ एक ना the bank account number first mention here the abbreviation which is there in your production is AMS this is USD and save this Okay, now bank is created. We'll be using this bank and you, if you find here, you will find the bank code as well as bank details here on this dashboard also. Now, welcome to all of you. Now today's agenda is, would be basically for accounts receivable. And uh, first we will be uh, starting with the non job related and then if needed we will go to job or for job related billing we will have a separate session also so for receivable we need to go to manage 
receivables. Here, there were there are various options which we had discussed yesterday in our first session. Now we will start with manage receivable receivable transactions here. If you click here, the window will appear like this. No entry has been made in your RTW test system. No problem. Let us start today. Now here you, you see if there is any entry, if you click on find, you will get all the details of the entries which were made or transactions which were posted earlier. We can have filters also to have. Uh, if you want to go to the respective transaction, we can apply various filters here, which we will be discussing once once you do in your test login and the data is flooded. Uh, here under new drop down option, you can see new invoice, credit note, adjustment note, journal transfer, contra, new receipt, new payment. These kind of options are available so right now. Since we are discussing on non job related receivable invoice means client invoice, which is not related to the job. Just click on new invoice. This is the screen where we need to update the details of data code at the left hand side top triple dot here is basically for searching the organization which is already there we need to just search or if we know the data code we can just mention here and now we don't know let us click on triple dot this is the search window receivable is ticked because we are in receivable now by default it is like starting with C it it has been configured and saved here dashboard layout or let us see if it is there yes here it clearly says that the receivable means client whose name starts with S and the client is based at US all those details are there now let us suppose our client is this one only. So I'll double click or highlight and bring here. Press tab, proceed further. Besides this, you will find an invoice date and post date. Post date will take current date. Okay, and it is freezed because back date is not allowed. If back date is allowed, post date will also have the option to change. Like here, invoice date, there is an option to change the invoice date. Now, invoice date and post date. Why CargoWise has brought two places here? That post date is going to affect your financial reports. And based on this post date, you can in the PNL. OK, or for trade debtors control in the balance sheet. Invoice date. It is just like means this has no impact on your financial report. So we need to be careful on post date. If back date posting is not allowed, then by default system will take current date and it is free. Now due date, due date. It will be automatical fetching once you update the organization master like see if the organization if we go to the organization master of sun sign accounts receivable go to credit control and settlement here you can see cod is the invoice term that's why it is taking the same date now just for understanding, suppose I take invoice here and put 15 days as the invoice term. Save this. This is just for explaining you. Now, 
remove this code because and again put the code. Now you, you can see here due date it has taken future date 15 days from the posting date it has taken due date based on the update which we have made in the organization master just now. So this way organization master is a, if updated then it will fetch the due date accordingly and you will have better clarity if you run the report and check the due dates so that you can ask the client to make payment because it is getting overdue. Now, since this is non job related and one more thing in accounts receivable, if you go through manage receivable here, you will not find any job number option or shipment number you cannot put here and it will not be linked to any of the shipment billings. So you you have to be clear picture in mind that for accounts receivable and for job related accounts receivable, you have to go through shipment billing only. Now here for the charges or GL account, we go to triple dot again to search all the search amongst all the list. Suppose we take a case that we are billing to a client. Non job related means it, it is like. is like rent non job pnl this there are two this this one where i my cursor this is this one is your liner description liner description will appear on the uh, this is not going to uh, or reference I am putting here. And here this is your. Liner description like rent. It may be the case where you have let out. The a part of your premises on rent and you raise in. Invoice on monthly basis rent for the month of. OK. And this you can also copy and paste here for internal uh, references. This will. So for your understanding. I'm putting it on invoice. Just for explaining, I have done this. An amount, let it be 50. Thousand, maybe. OK, terms it has taken invoice term 15 days. You can see here it is appearing on this based on the organization master's updation. Now at the bottom, you can see the left hand side bottom cash invoice. This is basically for cash related invoices, but generally like you raise the invoice and 
say at the same time you have received the payment. If that is the scenario, you can tick here. A window will appear and you can put the uh, receipt details and post this will match and close the term from this screen itself. Full in case of payable. So we'll discuss. Now if every. Is OK and if the email communication on this or anything you can update in the edocs here so that at any point in time. Your management or wants to check why this was raised, so you can have supportive document also. Now post this. On posting, there is a pop up like if you want to print the invoice document and send directly to the client, you click on yes. And if organization master is updated, uh, like client details, it will fetch the email ID itself. Here I can see that it is not fetching the email ID. So I will explain you right now only. First, let us see the review of this invoice document. Oh. Is cargo wise standard invoice document and it is fetching the bank details because at the time of creation of bank, I ticked default uh, bank. So that's why it is appearing on the invoice document bottom left hand side. Then you can directly send it to the respective email ID by selecting email. And. From option is there. If it is updated in the organization master, it will fetch directly here. You don't have to go there and. Put the email ID. And as we discussed earlier also yesterday, I believe that here your email ID, if you want to put here, you just press control E, your email ID will appear because I have logged into my support to, uh, ID. That's why Sudama's email ID is updated, so it has fetched. I have not typed here. It is just pressing control E. So it will save time. And one more thing, if the organization master is updated, you don't have to every time put the email IDs. Just I'm going to the organization master, contact details. And here, suppose I, I put any contact for this. It is just hypothetical, John. Like this I have updated and here at the bottom right. Right hand side go to group. Select account AR accounts. Receivable group and uh, in the CC if you want any email ID. To capture in like let me put my email ID. will appear in the CC. Just save this. Now I have updated the organization masters. Close this. Close. Now this is my 
AR invoice. Right click, go to print, print transaction. From here also you can go. Or here print drop down is available here. Click on print transaction two ways. Click here. And you can see. It has fetched the email ID on its own. This was updated. There and my email ID was also there in CC. That's why system has captured. And you don't have to do any preview and deliver. If already previewed, just directly deliver from here. So this way it will save a lot of time if organization master contact details is updated. Now it is just one time activity, but one has to update the organization master accordingly. So I have demonstrated this. So this way one can do it will save a lot of time. Now once that invoice document is posted, you go to manage receivable. Suppose you come next day, you logged in, went here, find, you are finding this document. Now you want to check what GL accounts were affected while posting this invoice document. Now here in cargo wise, once you post the account receivable means client invoice one control account that is trade debtors control one gl account that is hit is that kind of trade debtors control account and that will be balance sheet item and the one gl which we have used here that will that will be there in the credit side because this is your revenue item Highlight this, go to print, print accounting journal, preview. Just at the top, you can click, you can zoom. So you see here that accounts receivable control, that is trade debtors control. That is debit side and rent received. This 5050 that is on the credit side. Description here which what description is appearing here? This one is the header description at the top. It is appearing here in the accounting journal. And since this is accounting journal, that's why. Uh, the account description it has taken. Whatever was updated in this GL account description, it has not fetched. Uh, for the month of May 2021. So, because we wanted to check accounting journal, we are not checking here the invoice document. But still. Now you know what GL accounts are affected. One is accounts receivable control and the other one is PNL GL. That is your revenue item. Now once this part is done and uh, the invoice is sent to the client, now client pays it. So you in your system, you will be passing one receipt entry. So same process. Uh, means we have to come here in the receivable transactions window. Same way means from here manage receivable receivable transactions. New drop down up to this all all same, but here we will pass one entry. New receipt. OK, now client for checking the client code here. It is client code. So you should bring here and pass one receipt entry. Mm 
Now suppose they have paid directly to the bank. We'll select direct credit. Reference, wired reference number. Suppose it is like this. And against that amount, they may pay total. They may pay, pay, pay part of it. Means we need to just check how much they have paid. We can check it in the bank statement. Suppose for first case, they have paid 50,000. Total. OK. Now here. It is cutting me. Right hand side bottom. Some part is. Hidden just wait. I don't know why it is, but here you can see. Uh, three tabs are here. One is receipt detail. The other one is post with. Where my cursor is post with one is receipt detail. Is if you close this will be washed out means whatever entry we have done here. It will be. Now first case will. Do like this post without matching. Click here. Now it has posted. If we want, want to print that doc, so this is receipt entry, and we can again send this to the client for the, the month of so and so so once the entry is passed we can close this go back and here you see next line is created this is AR and the receipt is again this invoice document now you can see here outstanding is it is invoice outstanding it is showing with positive sign 50,000 and receipt outstanding it is showing with minus 50,000 why it both are actually showing outstanding you may raise a query like Payment is not out receipt entry which we have passed. It is not outstanding. But what happens like cargo is understands this as uh, negative 50,000 and we need to match and close so that outstanding is get vanished. Like you, you can select both. Right click. Go to actions then match after matching you will see that the outstanding amount on the right hand side column you just see outstanding it is appearing 50000 and minus 50000 right now but on clicking here match you see now outstanding is zero for both means account is settled if you run outstanding report from the system no data will be fetched out of these transactions invoice and receipt because now these transactions have been matched and closed. Now again. You may want to understand that once we pass this receipt entry, then what accounting journals are affected? What GL accounts are affected? Again, same way. Go to, go to print drop down, print accounting journal. 
preview and uh, this time since bank was involved and we have received the payment the bank is on the debit side and accounts receivable control is on the credit side at the time of posting of invoice accounts receivable control was on the debit side now what will happen the accounts receivable control gets nullified means no outstanding against this client and bank balance has increased by 50000 and the revenue gl which which was which was taken for passing this rent entry the pnl in the pnl that will be the revenue profit so this way these transactions and gl accounts how it is affected how trade debtors control or accounts receivable control accounts get nullified so you can very well check from the system now if you want to check like, like maybe he says that they want the laser you can go to manage receivable report and from cargo wise you can run this report transaction by receivable account this one you can and you can right click here and go to run both ways either double clicking or right clicking and run now <clears throat> because we are in may month in your case it will be 2021 05 because january is first now this one is fifth period so this will and uh, since we here in the transaction type we have the option to tick all but we know that we have just passed invoice and re receipt so just both these in the configuration management we can bring all these to appear here in the report now again go back to primary filter based on account means organization master setting or based on the requirement you can run the revile filtering like transaction branch if you want for specific branch you can attach that particular branch itself against for any staff member you want to take out a report so invoice if you want to take out a report of all the uh, party whose invoice currency is maybe INR, then you can select INR. If it is Euro EUR, you can select. So like this, you can have a report by applying various filters. Now let us run this report review export to excel so that we'll have better understanding yeah you can see this, this is the party and we have posted first entry in your test system this one so just highlight This was the invoice. And now you see header description is appearing in this report. Receivable transaction report by account. So if if header description is updated, so in this report, you can have better clarity, better under, understanding by seeing this report itself. So that way, I would say that whatever you put in the liner description you can just copy paste on the header description and in the header description you can put some more content if 
needed. Uh, 50,000 was the invoice and receipt was again 50,000 plus minus no outstanding. That's why it is appearing zero. Organization country is US. Debtor code invoice term since I had updated 15 days. That's why it is appearing in the report. It's also. OK. So this is one case where we have raised non job related AR invoice and once the invoice is raised party paid we have passed one receipt entry matched and closed the transaction so one scenario we have completed now let us understand like you have matched and closed the transaction now maybe i am saying that not every time maybe 0.1 percent cases one entry was made wrong like what I am saying. If you go to receivable transaction. Click on find this invoice and receipt entry. They are all matched and closed. Now after some time you found that. That something was wrong. You need to reverse this. Oh, you because you cannot edit. You cannot modify once the invoice is posted. At least in cargo wise, you will not be able to modify the account code. You will not be able to modify the card code or GL account which is taken. You cannot modify the amount. What is modifiable? I will explain you right now, but just understand this. Now, if you want to reverse this, click on reverse. Just see what it displays. It displays that this transaction has already been matched with another transaction. And if we need to reverse this, first we need to unmatch the transaction. Then only we will be able to reverse this. Now, how how do we do this reversal? Then for that. First we need to unmatch. So what we can do right click here on the left hand side. Go to actions. Click on view matched transaction here. Click. Find. So this match number once you match matching number system defined this this is automatically uh, updated by the system means matching number we don't do so for each and every matching um, system creates this one you now first we need to check the details Double click. So uh, you understood that okay, it was fifty thousand invoice. Receipt is again fifty thousand. Yes, this is the entry we want to reverse. Now it is highlighted at the top. You see unmatch. So you just need to click here. The window will appear like this. Unmatching date. We have the option to change. Like suppose. You matched five, five days earlier and today you are going to unmatch. If you want to. To make the unmatch date same as the matching date, so here system allows you to. Change the date, but right now it is the same date. So not. Not quite. We just need to unmatch. Click unmatch. Taking time. 
Yeah. <clears throat> so finally, system pops one message like finally it is asking whether you want to unmatch. Yes. Now it is unmatch. And if you find, you will not find any matching against this transaction number. Now close this. If you go back again to this receivable transaction dashboard, you see now again outstanding amount is appearing. It is just like unlocked now. 50,000 outstanding against invoice, 50,000 outstanding again receipt. Now, since the account is not settled, so based on this, because this is only one transaction, so it will actually be good for you to understand. Like, suppose I want to take out a report from the system, like how much is the aged outstanding? And now, just see what system fetches. Like, I want to have a detailed period. Here transaction header description. If you want to so just tick. Now preview. So you can see since we have not matched unmatching is just like not matching. So we have not matched and you can see in the aged outstanding report system is fetching like total outstanding system understands that it is zero only. But it is fetching the details like invoice 50,000, receipt minus 50,000, and this way. Why I am saying this? Because suppose, suppose you have passed, you have posted one invoice, and you have also posted receipt entry, and and uh, you want to send aged outstanding report to the client and it has been scheduled it will go in auto mode now if you don't match and close system will send the report like this which i have shown you now let me go back again find now we found that yes okay the error is rectified means you have reversed and posting that I will explain. Now I want to explain you this because you will have better understanding. Now this is matched again. Then again go back to the report section. Manage receivable reports, aged outstanding report. This we were, we have viewed two minutes back. Now again, we want, want to see the. Now there is no data so you will be understanding now if you match the transaction with the respective payment or receipt entry whatever be any journal entry or anything the correct outstanding details will go to the party line if you don't match system will understand that it is again in outstanding whether it is plus or minus and that way it will be sent to the client if if scheduled so now i believe you understood why i i was focusing on this so now that is done now let me once again go there Manage receivables, so receivable transaction. Right. 
this is the invoice document this is non job suppose i want to copy this just click on copy now you you have a new, new air you can see new air client is same because we we have copied and once you once you copy this system understands that you are copying the the gl account as well description it has copied you can see here now if you want to change the content a bit you can change here and you can once again post okay now this time suppose take the take any other party just remove the party click the data is huge let us starting with a i want to check the there are 359 requirements the client name starting with a in us main loco there are all that 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 needs to be modified no problem suppose i take this okay rest other details if you want to change you can modify a uh, gl account also if you want to change you can change or you can create a new one itself so i wanted to explain you the copy part of it so that part is done now let us take some other gl code suppose there is certain commission which you are billing may 2021 and you will bill to the party and party will pay to you like this once all details you found it correct post you can again print in you know, all the procedure will be same this time i'm clicking on no now you can see one more row is created and this one is our commission related invoice which is non job related and which we have sent to the client now once you send this the client says that after checking they say that no it is not 15000 it is 14000 and we discussed earlier also that you will be giving something discount or whatever final figure is 14000 you just revise that and send it to us the revised one now once posted you cannot do anything you just need to reverse this so highlight click on reverse here at the top we'll find the icon here click the window will appear like credit note because it is reversal of invoice the system understands it as credit note and and top row will, will tell you where you are like reverse ar credit note means invoice is getting reversed now system understands that against this original reference you are passing one credit note entry so that where if all the details are okay 
you just click on reverse. It will ask you till system has not posted. If you cancel, you can move out. But suppose incorrect data entry, you just put this code. Click on open. Now it is reversed. It is asking to if you want to print credit note and if you want to send it to the client will stand that OK in your system also that invoice is nullified. Credit note is issued. You can check the output sent to the client that you have nullified that. You can see the header, it shows credit note. And commission May 2021, whatsoever. So, this way we have reversed that. Now, re after reversing, you see outstanding. I want to check the outstanding. So, since it is reversed, Outstanding is zero zero means you don't have to match and close any reversal. You do it is not required to match and close system matches and close it. Itself now. Now suppose you want to raise fresh invoice. It is very easy within seconds you can do just copy because. Because party is saying to change the amount only, just copy here, change the amount. If rest of the contents are all okay, no problem, you can post. Within seconds, you can post and send to the party. Now, this is 14,000 outstanding, which is appearing, and this is a latest invoice. This invoice nullified by and final posting is this which you can see in the invoice document also like reversal re related to 1001 and 1001 transaction number so both are linked so here in the invoice disk you will have that uh, clarity that's why i told at the time you post any ar invoice non job related we are referring right now so header description you can update so that in due course also you run the report like this in dashboard report and you can have understanding if you expand this see by seeing hit this only and let me bring one more column here that is cancel cancel okay now see if you make the layout like this it is very easy to understand that these two are nullified means no impact in any of the financial reports if dates are taken care of like if suppose the invoice was raised in the month of April and in the month of May you are passing credit note. Obviously, if you run the report of April, it will be different. And if you run the report taking up to May, it will be different. So that you need to take care, but still. Cancelled all ruled out. Now you need to concentrate on. These three. Based on the client code data, you can filter out. You want to check only the details related to sun, sun sign, stainless S D A L A X. Find. You will find only two rows appearing here. And from here itself, you can understand the whole story. Like C 
see outstanding 00, zero means matched and closed. They were not cancelled. Party we have we have actually filtered out for this party. This one is a receipt. This is invoice means account is settled. All done. Who has done this? I explained yesterday. Go if you go to logs, you can also check easily. Since I had done this, the system has captured this, and no way I can delete. It means I cannot deny that I have not done my from my login. It is done. That's now. Let us understand one more detail here. See why I am focusing here. Why I am not going to job because once you understand all, all these logics or understand how it is happening, then job related billing is, is just one add on feature where you have to go in the job billing section and and pro rest all processes will be same. Post it will come here itself. So from here, accounts team has more. Receivables. And they're working much of time here. Now, if it is reversal credit note, it means you. You understand at the time we posted invoice document trade. Debtors control or accounts receivable control was in the debit side. Now once passing the reversal entry, the accounts receivable control will be on the credit side. It is just uh, if you if you want to check accounting journal, you will find that accounts receivable control is on the credit side and uh, the contrary GL PNL GL is on the debit side like here you see. And at the top accounting journal for CRD is for credit. Note so obviously it is reversal the accounts receivable control on the credit side to nullify the effect is reversal and commission which was. All item now here it is on the debit side means that revenue inflation of profit is now deflated by this much and it is nullifying. So I believe up to this it is clear. Yes. Yeah. Now adjustment note is there. If you click on adjustment note, the window appears like this. This is almost same window which was there in invoice or even credit note almost same. Here also you need to put the data information, whatever you want, you, what real you want. This to affect so all those you can do it here. Uh, why adjustment note uh, or why should we pass? It totally depends on the scenario situation. Like here, it is not going to link to any of the invoice. It is just adjustment entry. Invoice you which we you have raised to the client that figure will be there itself. Any adjustment, whether it is plus or minus that. You can post. Here and, and the entry will appear as adjust for matching and settling. Process will be same. So let us understand this. Like let me take this. Yeah.
take this here just see system is allowing both plus and minus you see 1000 it is allowing you minus is again allowing you so you can understand that if if on the debtors control means on this party if you want to increase it will not going so if you want if i put it plus only this is header and it is showing here and this is against the rent or there may be any scenario pass the entry i have taken plus we can print adjustment note also click on yes review so it will so like this adjustment note amount currency like this even all bank details and other details will be there but what i want to show you that if you go there Mm -hmm. This is adjustment note, and you see that invoice is with plus sign. See any of the invoices you can see plus fifty thousand INV adjustment. If you take plus one thousand, the adjustment entry is like plus one thousand. It means now party has to pay additional 1000 to settle its account same way adjustment entry can also be on the negative side it means minus 1000 also you can take and pass the entry this way system has given the flexibility to pass in in plus and minus now why I am saying this just understand with some other example. Like suppose this is your credit note. So let me or or let us understand with the invoice. So suppose this is the invoice copy. Now in the amount block you just put any minus 200 suppose any amount you see here it is red red dot and it says that this should be greater than zero you cannot take negative sign and pass the entry here so this way you you i believe you would have understood now that and if it is adjustment, it will be either on the higher side, means client has to pay more or on the lower side. But in the invoice document, if you want to post, you cannot take negative. Same way, if you are passing the credit note, if you go to new, new credit note, See, you cannot take negative. So now you would have understood that adjustment note can be passed either on higher side or to make the lower so, so that client has to pay either on the higher side or lower side. So adjustment note is for that purpose. Now 
new journal if you see the we are in receivable means any journal entry which we have to pass taking accounts receivable means client code versus any gl account client code versus any gl so basically uh, and if you don't select any gl code here system will understand and pass the entry taking clearing journal okay and clearing journal had to be made zero before closing the period <clears throat> okay so now here account means whatever we maybe we put here it is going to affect your accounts receivable control and here we can take so the, there may be cases like if you are refunding or any prepayment kind of thing or or bad debts like uh, like you have raised invoice was well, suppose 15000 client has paid 14000 and now 1000 they they are not going to pay you also understood because now one year two year have passed or there may be any communication that you need to settle and the client is not going to pay so all those entries can be done from the ar journals and the data migration from legacy system to cargo wise if you provide the details and we will import in the system all those transactions will appear as journal means for receive opening balances will appear as ar journal and for payable it will appear as ap journal so these are the scenarios where we can so like like let me take this as example s u n s t a l x what happened One thousand USD and let me change. Just check whether bad debt is there or not. So we can search by description. if you put contains it will be easy because it will search even at any place if it is mentioned bad uh, bad debt is there overhead debit okay so just copy uh, your means bring in there <clears throat> so this may be the scenario that 1000 this sunshine is not going to pay and in our books we need to pass bad debt related entry 
I have taken this GL account of bad debt and since this is a loss for the company, so I have taken this like and uh, again this is going to be your header description. This way you can update. Post. Close. Now you can see. Understand. This was created an adjustment note maybe or invoice amount which was higher than the receipt amount entered and then party told that they are not going to pay and now in your books it has to be settled with the bad debt entry. So this way I have passed one AR journal for bad debts you can see here. I have passed this entry. Now we system will allow you to match and close so that it the uh, there will be no outstanding so actions same process match and successfully match close outstanding is zero now by seeing this uh, dashboard you can see only one fourteen thousand is outstanding first one rest all zero zero means all settled this is 14,000. You need to check, ask client to make payment. <laughs> okay. Now, transfer contra. This we will understand now. Our transfer entry. Click here. This is new AR transfer means transferring from one receivable means one client to another client. Both are clients only. And you see both are mandatory fields also. If you pass transfer entry, it means it is just like there may be a situation where you have raised one uh, invoice to any client and client has understanding with any third party and that is also your client. And first client is saying that for this particular amount we have discussed, you can take the amount from that the other party. And this way one can do transfer entry match and close. This, this may be scenario. If not, just leave it. But since it is there, let me explain this. Like air SHI ZZZ is one party. Now they say that out of this 14,000, which is appearing as outstanding, you take 6000 from some other party like like here let me take example of, of sun's this only now you see here <clears throat> before passing this transfer entry you see 14000 is that it is obvious because I can see here outstanding is 14,000. 6,000 if you transfer now this air and ship cargo will only have to pay 8,000 to settle their account and since they have, have communication and understanding and you means you are also there and agree this part <clears throat> sun sign Stainless LLC has to pay. You have passed in the system entry like this. Now you can see Sunshine. There is no outstanding, which you can see here also all zero. Now Sunshine, if they have to pay six thousand now because of this scenario, before transfer it is zero. After transfer it is six thousand. Means now in the 
a system if you post the entry will appear like this it will be transferred trf transfer entry and this party air shi minus 6000 means if you have to settle these this one and this one or if you sum these two so you can see here only 8000 this party will pay to settle their account now since this is a transfer entry sun sunshine stainless now 6000 plus and plus is like invoice so that way through transfer entry this is just like they will have to pay 6000 to settle their account the transfer entry is done within receivable transactions because we are understanding receivable now if you want to check <clears throat> gl account affected so since we have uh, we have not selected any any revenue gl so if you see the accounting journal it will be like well see here it is like transfer receivable control versus receivable control so it is not affecting your pnl gl at any cost it is balance it gl only or just transfer from one receivable control account to another receivable control account and this way one part is debit and another part is credit so it is not going to affect your total uh, accounts receivable control this entry is not going to affect it's so just plus minus but accounting journal is this way only same way if you run this transfer entry also it is again receivable versus receivable account receivable control versus account receivable control debit credit so this way effect is nullified now comes contra entry new if you click on contra it is reversible uh, sorry receivable versus payable so one account one affected account will be on the receivable side and another account affected will be on the payable side so now th there may be a situation where your one of your clients is client as well as vendor sometimes it acts as a vendor also sometimes it is a client means you raise invoice they pay to you and sometimes on for the services they raise invoice and you pay to them that may be the case now for understanding this let me create a scenario for this like right now let us go to this organization oh ho do not go to this let us go to this
make this as payable as well. This is for understanding TPY third party company. If it is save and close. Now you see this consigned stainless is receivable as well as payable also. You can see. This 6000 is appearing here. Now we pass one, one contra. Click on contra. Yeah, this is this is contra. Let's suppose break 2500. What was the Press tab. Now see, 2500 I have put USD 2500 and it is a contra entry. Sunshine LX earlier it was 6000 before contra. After passing this 2500, this is appearing as 3500 and same we select. Now you see. Obviously it will be zero at the beginning because I have made account. Once payable right so there is no. Uh, vendor invoice and. Posting that's why it is appearing zero, but after this contra entry, this is appearing. Minus 2500 here. Just. Post and see the effect. And remember 2500. Now since we have passed contra entry, one part will appear on the receivable side and another part will appear on the payable side because this was contra. And you can see here this is appearing with negative sign means now this party, this sun sign. Out in in client account, it is. 6000 minus 2500 only 3500 if they want to settle their. Outstanding here they can do. Now parallelly if you go to payable now one entry you will find here also. Because this is contra it is affecting receivable as well as payable. So one entry is appearing here. OK. So this further we will understand tomorrow, but if you see. Because tomorrow we are going to study payable, so that will be there. If you go to receivable transactions, find. This is the CTR is contra second one. Just check the GL accounts affected. So you will find this time. Accounts receivable control versus accounts payable control are affected. You see. Accounts receivable control means trade debtors control 2500 and accounts payable control on the credit side 2500 and if you run. The accounting journal on payable side it will be reversal of this like here accounts receivable control on the debit side
Click here. Select same way. Here you see accounts receivable control on the credit side means debit credit. It is nullifying the effect means it is just a contra entry. So I believe this part is also clear to you. Hello. Clear now? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Now for proceeding further, let me go to the organization because we have discussed these two. So it is good that we are taking one to better creditor understanding. Now suppose in the AR, I put the credit limit. And since we have logged into RTW, whatever we put, just to understand whatever we put here. This is five lakh. So suppose whatever we put here, it it will be in USD because login currency is USD only. So means uh, if we log into SAR India. And whatever we put here, it will be in INR. So understand this. Now save. Here invoice term is 15 days. So let's close this. Now I am going to manage receivable and this time receivable inquiries. If you clear, you will get all the details like find. You will get all the details. Now here, if you want to check. Sun sign because for sun sign, I have done the credit limit. Find. So all the entries related to sunshine is appearing here. We can have a filter for unpaid ones also or part also. So find. You see. 6000 minus 2500 3500 and you can see here greatly. I have put just now 5 lakh. That's why it is appearing. 4000 you see here. WIP 1800 is appearing, which may be in some of the jobs. It was and posted new 3500 total WIP and 5300 so from here. All we can actually. Uh, get the idea. So this receivable inquiry is all the uh, functionality is same. Like if you see new drop down option, you will find all this which was there in the receivable transactions. And here also you will find all these. Even if we want to print so here print drop down option is there. If you want to print journal also, you can print it. Print invoice document, credit note document, all documents. Those all uh, you can see reverse is also there. Copy all this uh, functionality was there in receivable transactions also. But here at the bottom grid, you, you see credit status is also appearing. So one can use this if. You want on the dashboard all the details should appear. Then you have to come here and just check all the details. You will get fair idea like like recognize WIP. Why it is showing 1800 
Now this we will understand later. But if you go to job costing here, WIP and accrual, find. You can see here WIP 1800 is showing. And this was in a job which is S101012. If you click here, this one is your job function F3. You can go inside the job from here. And have an idea like 1800 why it was appearing there. So this. Uh, since it is here. Sell amount 1800 sun sunshine. That's why it is appearing here and it is not posted. That's why it is in the WIP. So these we will discuss later, but. Since we were discussing on that on the receivable inquiry screen, that's why I wanted to explain you this. So this is understood now. Print invoice is just a, a place where you can find all the invoices. If you want to invoice and credit note, if uh, invoice credit note and other adjustment note and all. If you want to print here also print icon is there or otherwise you can print from here and send to the party directly. See not updated. That's why it is not fetching email IDs. But if you see we have done for sun sign. If you click here. Print. It is fetching email ID. <clears throat> now payment processing is uh, one add-on feature in cargo wise so we'll discuss this uh, tomorrow once we understand this this is actually almost you will find and most of the fields which is here is here also. So we'll discuss this tomorrow. Now, credit note approval. It is again in the registry. If we if we for credit note approval, we'll label and we'll give the authorization of. Uh, slab like up to 10,000 level one approver can approve. Then beyond that, level two approver can approve. This way, we in the in cargo wise, we can actually in uh, in the registry we can can do certain settings and uh, let me show you this so that you will have an idea. Go to system registry. Go to receivable default. Default setting. Create not an invoice reversal. This you see authorization. So for better understanding, I have come here. So that will be easy for me also to explain and you also to understand. If you click on override now here for credit note, 
in cargo wise we can do certain registry setting like this range up to say up to 5000 usd level 1 can approve up to 10000 means above 5000 5, and up to 10000 level 2 can approve so this way you can see here six levels are there for credit note approval credit note and adjustment note also and if we want to have only three slabs like beyond 10 about 10 thousand and we want to create like level three up to level six is there so it totally depends how do you want to or how what metrics your company wants to follow so this way one can create in the registry save so this you know this is saved and one more thing here drop down single approval required two approvals required and sequential approvals required this setting can also be done like if you want that if it is in that particular slab like 1000 this first one level one can approve means anyone who is there in level one group can approve and it is true if we put two means two approver has to approve if one approver has approved there will be a pop-up that this is again pending for the second approver to approve so this way we can have either default which is single approval so most of the companies take single approval only because unnecessary it will take a lot of time for approving only but still in cargo wise these are the functionalities now you will understand once you do certain settings here and you create a group give security right to that group then if you come to the credit note approval window you will find all the the credit notes which are there for approving and you can apply filter by the stages like requested cancelled rejected approved posted so this way if that is configured in the system it will work like that only so labels have to be defined and we we need to create a group and add members in that group so that for a particular slab one has to approve then only that will be posted and for posting it is like right clicking here yeah right clicking go to actions approve and once it is approved one can post this dashboard we can export to excel a document uh, excel form and send to the management also so that will be done in the phase two as we have discussed but this is the feature so that's why i explained here now grade control document approval is but this will the, the not not to withhold the invoice documents to post it is it is like if if that client is exceeding that credit limit then certain documents hbl document or delivery order document or other documents which we want to withhold we can withhold again for this we have the slabs in the registry as i have navigated it there <clears throat> now 
plans and queries. Like. If you click on claims and queries, the dashboard is like this because we have not done anything. That's why it is blank here. You cannot find, but we click on new. To create one new claim related to. One of the data. So this is the window where you can update all the. The this related to any any in invoice okay like like uh, suppose we take this one only we have taken sunshine now it is asking a whatever is the mandatory field if you try to save there will be a red red dot means these are mandatory field if you want to proceed further and uh, claim number to generate by the system then we need to update like go to triple dot invoice this is suppose i've taken this invoice but outstanding is zero no problem just understanding purpose amount claimed suppose 500 usd now here we need to put the claim description. There may be some situation so we actually here we can update in the system so that the database is updated. Otherwise, suppose there are uh, thousands of clients and uh, so that those thousands of clients, uh, there are certain disputes with the 10 or 15 clients. Now, if in the system it is updated somewhere, one can go and check the stages and try to try to do certain activity for the redressal of this dispute. The claim type, this drop down options can be increased further. Claim status. Now you can see here there is no red dot means system will allow you to move forward. Now any any claim log, any uh, you want to add to the claim log. Click here and we can add anything in the claim log like A, B, C, D. Okay. I'll save. You can see here it has added the claim log and date, time also it will update. Saved. Now once you save it, it will generate one claim number or query number. <clears throat> Rejecting claim, approving claim. These these are all there here. Claim status. Suppose suppose dispute is settled. Now you need to close now. In that case, you can select the option from here. Drop down option. Like if it is accepted, credit note issued, claim closed. So we can select this one. If cancelled, party said that no, you need to pay. Means you need whatever. Pay back or whatever be the reason. So this way we can have claim accepted, claim rejected. Through actions, we can and reassign claim also. If you click on reassign claim, the branch like suppose the claim creator has created the claim, and now this has to be shifted 
compared to another branch because the client is based at other province or other state and we need to shift this to our another branch so that the staff member the, of that particular branch can take over. This way we can update and proceed further. Now once it is updated on this dashboard, you will have that particular claims. If there are this as I mentioned with 10, 15 clients, so all can be updated here and management will have fair idea that what is going on against these disputes and what it's at what stage is, is that if anything is required one can discuss and close try to close the issues at, at the layer now collection call is there again it is very important to understand this. Oh, there may be no nothing there. Just to wait. Go to receivable transactions. And uh, I want to. Oh, it is hanged. Uh, just wait. It is hanged. Let me check why the data was not there. I posted just one invoice. Just go to claim uh, collection call. Find. Yes, there is some issue. Just wait, let me check.
Hello. I need to check on this why it is not fetching. Let me go to my test login to show this. Okay, now I have logged into my test system. I need to check so offline. I'll be checking why it was not fetching. But suppose I go to. Let me change the company. First. Is my screen visible? Yes. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now, now let me change the, the company here. Now this collection call is uh, one of the good features available for receivables. If you go to collection call. find you will find all the details of the transactions which are posted in receivable transactions okay receive for any client whatever all the transactions will appear here and based on the credit limit and all it will show in the columns you can take out excel report also okay like credit limit what is Available credit total due. What is the standard payment term? Standard due. All the details will appear here. Like, let us take one example. Like, suppose I take this one as example, and uh, right click, go to actions, print document. We can print statement of account from here as well. Click. It will fetch the the details of the email ID which we have updated in the organization masters. So suppose uh, delete all this. Only one preview. From here also you will have the statement of account for this party for this client. And uh, <clears throat> there are two pages. Total is appearing like this. Now, if you want, suppose it is overdue and you want to send first reminder, same way you go to action, print document, print first reminder, and you can send first reminder document to the party and it will appear like this. The transaction below have not yet been paid. You need to pay because uh, <clears throat> next seven days you need to pay. This content of the re uh, first payment reminder, this can be changed also. If you want that, 
the content should be from your template. So you can provide us the template. We will configure it for you. Same way we can have second reminder. Actions print document. Second reminder even collection letter and demand letter also like demand letter is that if you are not going to pay within this particular day, we are going to take legal action against you. So that kind of harsh letter if you want to send in from cargo wise, it is possible. OK, now how to update the collection call database like if you if you see I was there. Go to edit, highlight the organization under which you want to work. Click on edit. The window will appear like this. Here you can update like date of call. Like suppose I, I called the party today itself. The date of follow up I can update based on the call there. I have said to call up some seven days or whatever. Calling contact all other details we can update here. And here at the bottom block we can update what was discussed during today's call. We can update the logs here. Notes and control S to save this. Now. Second tab is transaction. All the transactions means whether invoice, credit note, adjustment, transfer, all will appear here. And from, from here also you can select the invoice documents. Suppose invoices have to be sent. You can select and at the bottom you see bottom of this grid. You see print selected invoice is there. Click here. Click and uh, you can send the invoice. OK. I don't know why it is hang. Oh, due to this. OK, so through that. Receivable collection call. We can update whatever the discussions are on with the client. We can have the filters like follow up date filter. We can apply that against all these clients. Follow up day this week. 
how many? No. Next week or the date. Like next week. There is one. So this way if you update in the system based on the discussion you have. With the client. So you will have fair idea through this dashboard dashboard report you can generate. There are certain drop down options like. Call status on what date call was made. AR account client code like if you want to search. That. S O double F R E I C D one. For this. Client find yeah this is here. You can go to edit. We can go inside check all the transactions here. Again this if any call has to be made. We can go here update in the logs we can update. And save. So this way we this is for multiple purposes like. Sending. Reminders send printing statement of account also collection letter demand letter updating the calls which you your employee is going to make with the clients now statement of account printing can also be done from here under manage receivable statement click here and uh, we have the option here to select to attach invoices so we can select here if we want to print for one account so double f r e i c d one you can select this way now it it is going to attach the statement of account as well as the outstanding invoices okay. print here if there is any mandatory field it will appear here here in the print it will move forward to next comments to send it has attached the statement of account then all these invoices which are outstanding we can preview one by one. We can check all these documents as well from here. So let us. Uh, ha and also we can untick. Suppose we don't want. Take the ones which we. Don't. Suppose these ones we want to send. Preview. We have the statement of account then attached on credit note. So this way it will attach all the outstanding ones which are not matched and closed in the system. So I believe up to this it is all OK. Hello. Yes. Yeah. So now we'll have a session tomorrow, same time, 7 p.m. And we'll proceed from here and we'll go and check all the details about the payables tomorrow. OK. Oh, OK. And okay. I'm yeah. yeah, and I'm not hearing anybody except uh, Tejas. Why if some if something is in us? Why is everybody quiet? Why? Yeah, one Arin, can ask Sagar. if an inquiry. Yeah, absolutely. And why uh, Chinmay? Why is there no response from your side? So me. Throughout this entire session, I've not heard anybody except Tejas.
not hearing anybody chinmay you are saying something i want uh, you people uh, to uh, respond whenever something is asked uh, don't sit quiet you have to respond sadkar yes sir yeah and avijit ji yeah see all have got the test login whatever we are discussing demonstrating here in this session one can go there do sort of entries check the output so it will uh, create lot of confidence in the employees users so yeah, and so i have already told that if you face any problem it is not required that we connect in the training session and you ask you just send email that at this point you are stuck and you want cl any clarification or anything you just send email i will respond yeah. to that also okay thank you so much sanjeev and i want everybody to do that sumi yes sir yes sir and i want i'll sorry sir hmm? yeah mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. make sure that uh, all of you are vocal whenever something is asked even the person who is explaining feels better if you respond if you don't respond how is he going to know that uh, you are you know whether you are understood not understood so a lot of uh, vocal feedback genuinely helps and i want all of you to give that sagar sagar sir so just make yeah is so mute from, yeah no uh yeah. sagar i want uh, responses to come in uh, yes, during the sessions yes sir yes, yes, sagar my problem is there what is your problem no no uh, sagar is facing with the problem with my uh, he cannot he can hear but cannot he speaking so he cannot hear okay yeah you are yeah you are still having that problem sagar okay let's talk on it separately but uh, uh, everybody understood what i'm trying to say so next session i want everybody to be active and uh, give give feedback so it becomes an interactive session so even the person who is explaining feels uh, you know involved as well as you also will uh, be able to understand things better thank you yes sir yes indeed oh, yeah okay 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 thanks to all for participating this session number 2 and thanks avijit ji uh, and uh, let us meet tomorrow same time yeah let's meet tomorrow yes thank you so much thank you thanks thank have you. a great day to all yeah. thank you thanks sanjeev please thank you sir thank you thank you sanjeev ji